Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Dark Souls 2. Perhaps you've seen it. Maybe in a dream. A murky, forgotten land. Yes, actually, I have. Ooh. Well. This gives me the feeling like I'm about to die. Oh. <laughs> it looks like I did. A All place this. where souls may mend your ailing mind. That looks so cool. Crow feathers? You will lose everything. Once branded. The symbol of the curse. Mm. An augur of darkness. Your past, your future, your very light. Oh dang! Oh dang! Melting face! Melting face! That's that's the it's not right. None will have meaning, and it's you won't sad. even care. By then, you'll be something other than human. Okay, look, a spider. A thing that feeds on souls. Oh a really? Hollow. Mm. Of course. Long ago, in a walled-off land far to the north, a great king built a great kingdom. I believe they called it Drang Lake. Can I just say, that looks nothing like Perhaps anything in the game. Familiar. And if that was in the game, Never it would be a much better game. Could you be? I mean, they but could make that the entire game world instead of going for this massive thing. If that was the entire game world, it would be a lot better of a game. Like you could have, a, you could have dungeons, forges. You could have a barracks. You could have everything. You could have a fight. You could have the actual final boss fight in an actual throne room. But no, it just can't happen. Not ominous at all. I swear. Oh crap, here comes the moon presence. Drawn to a flame, your wings will burn in anger. Ah, oh, my boat. Time after time. I'm freaking out, man. For that is your fate. Really? The my fate of the cursed. Why did I do this? Why did I, why did I jump into the wormhole? This is this, this makes no sense. Why am I doing this? Why? That was dumb. <laughs> Dead. More than likely enough again. I did horrible, 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 horrible game. And now I'm in a gazebo. For some reason, I'm just in the gazebo. At least we're not in prison for once in an RPG. There is a prison in this RPG. But somehow it's not where we start off. And I need to turn this stuff on again. There we go. Screen options, lower this a bit. go. 
okay, isn't that the, like, symbol for, uh, Resident Evil 5 right there? That little line? No, it's not Resident Evil. There's a game that has, like, a crack. Just like that one. As a symbol. Mmm, look at my amazing undeadness. Roll! Can I come in? Hello? Anyone home? Yes, three old ladies. <laughs> oh, four. Seems to be the oh no, wait, three old ladies and a young old lady. A oh, oh, young old lady, my, my, my brain. Oh, the face. The face of the curse. It's an undead. An undead has come to play. I think I heard a sound file mess up there. You spoke to that kind old dear, didn't you? <laughs> You're finished. You go hollow. Yes, you will become one of them. Hollows prey upon them. Feast upon their souls. Nice. This is the fate of the cursed. <laughs> okay. What is your name? Uh, Smitty Worm and Yeagerman Jensen. Sadly, that will not fit. Uh. The name will decide a character. Um. Huh. What should I name him? Actually, let's go with her. Morinth. Hope I spelled that right if that's an actual name. <laughs> At least you know your own name. Yes, it's Smitty Worman Yeagerman Jensen. I've he already stated this. Lord. Could you please move slower? Good. I know what it is. Take a closer look. Alright. Who do you think it's supposed to be? Me! Right? Right. Deep into your past. Yes. It's an effigy of you. the plush that one wouldn't be too bad no nope. come on give me some good ah where's the Lord Voldemort nope maybe Advanced overall skin color. Whoa. Right there. Actually looks good from the side angle, but I need to fix her jaw. Jaw position back, maybe. Let's see what it does. I 
I see, that decides how much your chin protrudes from your uh, actual face there. Length, position. Small. Length. Short. Height. Lower. Oh, no, wait. I think I actually want mouth. Wow, that is an Attack on Titan looking smile right there. Yes to this one. Hmm. How can we fix this? Ah. That looks pretty normal. You can turn that into a spike, can't you? Yep. Looks like she has a goatee made of nothing but her own chin. Let's just go full anime. Pink. Eye color. Blue. There we go. And actually, count down the physique. Looks pretty good. Class Warrior Knight Swordsman. Could be interesting. By the way, in my opinion, Swordsman is actually the best starting class overall for doing pretty much anything. Like, it's better than the Sorcerer for being a Sorcerer. It's better than the Cleric for being a Cleric. Because it actually starts you out with more survivability than either of these two classes. Explorer would be pretty useful. I'd get more items. Yeah, I'm thinking Explorer. But if I go Swords... Oh, yeah, I'm I know I'm gonna end up going Swordsman no matter what, so I might as well just pick it now. All people come here for the different, I should think. I don't want to break the curse. I want to embrace him because he become the Lord of Darkness itself. Well, you never know. <laughs> Stop laughing at me, you mean old women. Go through the 
door and trot along to the kingdom. But remember, hold on to your souls. Okay. They're all that keep you from going home. I already... That's not oh, true at all. I'll fool you no longer. You lose your souls. All of them. Over and over again. <laughs> that was only creepy. The whole thing. The whole... To her lips not matching up to her... You know, actual speaking and all that. Yeah, that's so much creepy. Hi, Maribeth. This is a limbo. A link between Drumblaic and the outer world. Fair travel. I know that you must have a story. Why else would you visit such a place? This lost, decayed. Crow feathers? Or, uh. No, that, that's fur of some kind. Definitely, definitely fur. There's no way it's not fur. Thank you for the human effigies. Giants. I'm gonna skip all this for now. I'll come back to it later. I could go straight to the Forest Fallen Giants, make my way through there, and get hopefully a few good items so that I can get into the blacksmith shop. Or I can go farm a little bit, just a little bit, and become stronger. Exposure. Ah, uh, it's much fun. Which actually is a pretty good name. Like all, all things considered, all things considered, it's pretty good. I'm sorry, my computer just finished restarting, so I'm trying to do that and do this at the same time. Star and Cleric's Chime. Take off my hood and gauntlets. Binoculars. Sneeze. <coughs> oh. That was a painful sneeze. Ah. Oh, my word. Ah. Harold. Ah, Where's Chumar? Come on, talk to me. Talk to me. There we go. I unlocked her ability to stink and heal me and all that. That's good. And now to talk to this guy. We call him Jim. He's actually called Crestfallen Salt. Back uh, and that's quite a I ended up losing a few stinking files on my computer. That's great. That is absolutely wonderful. I worked all day to make those. And then everything starts freezing and locking up. And I'm forced to restart my computer. Hey, mate. Later, mate. Okay, only like two... Two things left to get. Which is nice. One is this. Dates 
were installed on my computer. And now I can go and talk to the Herald again. See if she's found Kumar yet. Maybe they've gone on an adventure of some kind. Maybe they've gone to White Castle. I don't know. I'm sure they've done something. Two as this heals. I really hope that three, you start with five or ten or fifteen or twenty or thirty or forty or fifty or sixty. I kind of wish that they make it so you can get. So it's your only healing item, but you can get it up to like a hundred. But you have to, instead of spending souls on yourself spend them on your S's flask. Times its level, so go 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000, and so on. Right here's the Crimson Parma. Useful shield. Definitely going with this one. The Chala. I think I'm going to go with mainly rapiers, so I'm going to need, I think I'm good on that front for like the first rapier you can get. Boom! Parried, son! Ha ha! Ah, uh, my face! Ha ha, parried again. You really don't learn, do you? I'm just gonna walk over here. Come on. Come on. Wow. I'm just gonna point out, he hit the ground to my right with that swing. And he gave me nothing. Boop. So getting a thousand or so souls from here. Actually, I could probably clear most of the area with no to little problem, really, unless someone decides to invade. Of course, if someone decides to invade, I am dead. All right, I need to hit him a few times. Come on, Amy. When will you burn? This pink hair is the hair of death. Yep. I'm just gonna endlessly carry my way through here to get as many souls as I can. That's the plan. And dead. They die so stinging weirdly. Hello. Oh my word. I should have been hit there. That was crap. I should have been hit. Ha ha, I escaped your onslaught. Oh my. I also hope that they uh, take the time to make it so when an enemy hits the ground, at least for a minute, it leaves a mark. Because I honestly want to see that. Hello, good sir. Can you parry these guys? I need to try that sometime. I wouldn't think you can, but then again, in the first one you could pair some pretty weird things. In this one it's... I mean, you can parry, like, 
one boss. So maybe compare the big guys here? No, I didn't use that. I, okay. Nine hundred and one souls, really? To level from twelve to thirteen, you need nine hundred and one souls. That's kind of weird. Come here. Follow me, big guy. I'm getting you away from the other two. Who are not following you. What the heck? Hi. should make those two come after me. And seeing as these enemies are actually kind of fast, they'll be here quickly. Jump. That's right, go the other way, big guy. Oh my word, they are hightailing it. Come on! Hey! Fine! And neither of them are even bothering to come after me. Hey! I pulled the lever your friend was guarding. You're really honoring his memory, guys. jobs, aren't you? Roll. Hi. Oh, my face. Ah, my face again. Nope. Oh, my. I'm just gonna use one of these real quick. Uh, no need to worry. No need to worry. Yeah, that's counter strike. This does more counter damage than this. Really? Huh. Interesting. I suppose we can compare it with this guy. That didn't happen. Come on, big guy. And the damage is three hundred and fifty-four. Looked like. And the damage is. 375. Yeah, this one's better. Hate Night Sword. Hate Night Sword. Oh, there it is. Might be worth using, all things considered. Be pretty useful, that's for sure. Roll out. No. Oh, follow me. 